Hey guys, so I've been wanting to do a workout health video type of thing um, because I don't know, I've just been, I thought I want to, I just want to share with you guys like um, just my way that I've been getting healthy. You don't have to do this at all. Um, but right now I'm focusing on my stomach area and then I'm going to be adding in like a thigh workout soon. But that'll be later but in this video I'm just going to show you what kind of clothes I like to work out in and uh, the apps that I use what workouts I'm going to be doing and what I'm doing right now I mean um and just my like how I eat and stuff like that um so let's go ahead and get into it because it might be a long video um so first off I want to talk about the apps that I use and I just whoa I just have them on my iPad and let me see what they're called exactly um, crap. Okay, so I have three apps on my iPad. I also have them on my iPhone as well. Um, but this one called Health Tips, it just looks like this. It's not fancy or anything. Um, and it just will give you, like, a health tip every single day if you go and check, at, check it. Um, and it really does give you, like, really good tips, I actually think. Because the other one was, um yesterday I just really liked it I don't know like uh, sugar consumption including high fructose corn syrup can weaken the immune system by up to 50% uh, depending on the size of the dose for up to four hours consider limiting sugar consumption at the beginning of any illness to minimize damage to the immune system when under attack and I just think that that's really important for me because of my immune system and all of that so I don't really eat sugars anyway I just I don't know that stuff that has like a ton of sugar in it it just kind of sickens me so I don't know um, but I always proportion everything that'll be later on you know and it just tells you some really great tips and I haven't really discovered this app all that much but I'm pretty sure you can add in notes and different things like that but it's free and um, then the Jillian Michaels weight loss app it looks like this. Now, they have one that's $2.99, and then they have one that's free. And I'm actually, I got the free one because um, it'll do, like, it'll ask you a few questions at the beginning of sign up. And then this is what it says. Um, I know you're a proportionate shape and want to lose 25 to 50 pounds. I've created the workout plan just for you. And I actually want to only lose, like, 30 pounds. Um, and then she'll tell you, or um, on the side here, it has a list of all the workouts that she wants that would be good for you. Um, and some of them are locked, though, on the free one. So, what was talking? So, um, you can't read them all unless you pay the $3. But, if you don't know how to do some of them, because I didn't know what, like, V-flies were or step plyos were or anything like that, you can just Google them and find out what they are. You don't have to pay like the $3 app thing. And that's what I did. I didn't pay the $3. I just was like, Okay, I'll just Google these, and I wrote it all down and what she recommends on doing. Um, and then if they aren't, if they are unlocked though, like the modified push-up right now is unlocked for me. Um, she has a video on how to do it. It describes down here how to do it with steps and pictures, and then you can also listen to it if you need to, um, if you don't read it or whatever. And then if you want, oh, it does give you some on the unlocked one. It gives you two free recipes to make if you want to eat these. Um, this is an appleberry banana smoothie, which I will share. I'm going to do a blog post for this. I will share that on my blog, so I'll link the blog post down below for you guys. Um, and then there's a grilled chicken one, but the other ones are all locked if you're interested in eating healthier, but I'm going to get into that later on in the video. But I really like this app because she tells you how many reps to do. She says three reps of three sets of 15 for the modified push-ups and all of that and everything like that. So I think this is a really good app. And if you want to keep track of your eating and all of that, I like the one called My Fitness Pal. Yeah, right here. And I love this app. It's amazing. It's really, really helpful. I haven't been on it in a while, but I've been doing pretty well without it. I was on it yesterday. I'm starting back up my um, keeping count of what I've been eating and stuff because I haven't, but I haven't been eating bad or anything. Um, I just like to know... But I've lost 20 pounds since I've been on this thing, which is crazy. Uh, so I really want to start using this a lot more than I have been, which I feel dumb about using. But what you can do on the app is just go in for the day. And today is the November 4th. Um, 
and you can go in and you can add food and it sets up like a thing for how many calories you can have and mine says that I can have 1200 calories for a whole day and then you just add in your food um, you can add to breakfast, lunch, dinner, and you can add in snacks. And then you want to also add in your water down here. And I always drink like seven cups of water every day. You really just need water. I swear to you, it will make a difference if you drink like pop and you haven't really don't really drink that much water. Don't drink the pop. Just drink water. I'll get into that later in the video. But you can add in your exercise and all that. See your progress. All that's a really great app. I definitely recommend it. I'll list the names of these down below in the down bar and all that good stuff for you guys. But those are the apps that I use. Um, then my workout plan that I have um, made up for myself, basically off of the Jillian Michaels app. I haven't really thought it out. I just took it off of the app and wrote it down because, you know, you have to pay $3. I don't have the $3 for that right now, so I'm not going to buy it. Uh, and I don't really need to, to be honest. So what I used to do in this book here at the beginning of the year uh, was, um, yeah, 2013 on January 1st. I'm pretty sure I wrote down what I had. Yep, I did. Um... And I just would write down everything that I had, so it was like my food journal. Um, but you can also do that in the app or on, you know, in a book. I just did both at that time. But now I'm using it for my um, workout plan. So I have it all written down here, and I'm going to read it to you guys so you can see it. So what she recommends me doing is... For my circuit one, do modified push-ups, three reps of 15, squats, three reps of 15, and skaters, three sets of one. I don't know if I'm going to do the skaters because those look a little crazy for me, especially if I'm just going to do it at home. So I think I'm going to switch it out with something else, but I might do the skaters. I'm going to try them out today. Um, and then my circuit two is dumbbell chest press, three sets of 15, donkey kick, three sets of 15, um... And then circuit three is the bench dip, three sets of 15, V-flies, three sets of 15, step plyos, three sets of one. Um, and then circuit four is lateral shoulder raises, three sets of 15, ball crunch, um, or you can just do regular crunches because I don't have a stability ball yet. Um, three sets of 15. Circuit five is dumbbell triceps extensions, um, three reps of 15, scissors, three sets of one, and mountain climbers, three sets of one. Um, and then I wrote down my starting weight and all that for the day, November 4th is when I'm starting it. So this is kind of like my workout routine, but yeah, I'm starting it, so I'm going to do updates for myself. Uh, so this is... You don't have to wash this if you don't want to, I guess. I should have said that at the beginning. Um, but then I didn't know how to do some of the workouts, uh, so I wrote down here how to do some of them. I didn't know how to do skaters, um, and I wasn't really sure what a donkey kick was, but then when I looked it up, I was like, oh my gosh, I've done donkey kick before. So I kind of felt dumb when I looked that one up. Uh, how to scissors, I felt stupid when I looked that up too. I just don't know the terms for them, you know? You've done them in your aerobics class, but you've never, you never knew the freaking name. That's the problem I'm having. How to V-flies, I've done those before, I've never heard it called that before. Um, how to do um, step plyos, which those are like really weird, uh, and I think I'm going to be stupid when I try those out. Um, how to mountain climbers, I know what mountain climbers are, I don't know why I didn't know what they were in my brain this morning. And then how to dumbbell tricep extension, I didn't know if it was like, but I figured it out, I deciphered between the two. And then how to lateral shoulder raises, I know how to do that too. I just, all the terms, I was like... What, is, or what are they talking about? So yeah, I just write down my workout in here. Um, I'm going to write down all of that information down below. And, and I got the information from certain websites. So I'm going to link the, web, the websites in my blog post for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing, um, I'll have that all up whenever I get this video up. I'm not really sure because I am, this is November 4th one I'm filming and I'm going to be doing my workout as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to show you guys what I like to work out in because I do, I have worked out before. I was literally working out um, on like steppers, doing steppers for like an hour a day, which actually did tone my legs, but it took forever to like see results. So anyway, I just like to wear anything comfortable and anything that will make me sweat. Now I know that that sounds really disgusting and crazy, but I just like to get pumped and everything. Um, and I don't know why, but I just do. So I like to wear things that are going to make me sweat, but are comfortable and stretchy, which I hate wearing stretchy clothes, but I have to to work out in. You just have to. So I just have this shirt. This is like a crazy shirt. I don't know why I always get clothes like this for working out, like obnoxious clothes. Um, but this is one of them. Just a long sleeve shirt. And now that's good for fall time, but normally it would be like a, a short sleeve shirt. 
that was comfortable. And then any like sweatpants. These ones used to be my favorite, but they really, I need a new pair of them. I think I want to get some Lululemon uh, leggings, like Wonder Unders. Um, but these are just like boot cut, like, what are these, polyester? These are Dan Skin. What are these? Like really stretchy pants. And they're way too big for me. Um, because of all the weight loss, but they're really super stretchy, and they're boot cut, so they flow, and all that, I normally wear these ones to my doctor's appointment, but I do work out in them sometimes, the other ones are some sweats from Victoria's Secret, which I hate these sweats, these are so ginormous, I don't even know what size these are, but I need like, these are a size large, I need like a size small, I'm not even kidding you, that's how big these are, um, but, they are the ones with the drawstring and, you know, I don't like their sweats because it makes your butt look weird. Maybe it's just because I've lost weight. I don't know. Um, and then how I eat, I guess I'll tell you, is I just do proportions. Like, if something says you can only have, like, 46 pretzels, I count out literally 46 pretzels, put them in a bowl, and I eat just that. I don't get any refills or anything like that. And I just proportion every single thing that I eat. So, if something says... Because I like to eat potato chips. That's the only unhealthy thing that I really don't like, that I really like to eat still. And um, I read on the bag every single time. Like, you're only allowed to have, like, 20 to 22, like, potato chips. And I try to get, like, the same amount or, like, the same size ones because, you know, like, they can be ginormous or half that size. I always like to get the smaller ones anyway and put, like, 20 in a bowl. And that's all I'll eat. Um... And I just really proportion everything. Like, I don't get refills at dinner. And I don't really eat breakfast, but you shouldn't skip meals anyway. But I don't really eat breakfast anyway. <sighs> but I'm, I'm going to start eating breakfast now just because. Um, and I just proportion everything and drink tons of water. Like, if you used to drink pop every single day, which is what I used to do, I'm guilty. Diet Coke every day. Three times a day. Drink a freaking can of that stuff. No, it has changed my life. I remember when I would have so many like breakouts here. I have like the breakout scars left on my chin. So on January 1st, it started, well, it was way before January 1st, but I know for sure that on January 1st, all I had to drink was water. So up until, let's say, well, up until today, really, I've had nothing but water. Then I can tell you on my fingers how many times I've not how many times I've drank in something other than water. Um, for a while I was drinking, three days I had three bottles of orange juice. Because um, we got like the serving proportion ones. I remember I have, I've had four cups of hot tea that we make. One iced coffee. And I'm pretty sure, you know, yesterday I had a zero calorie um, green tea, and one time I got a sweet tea from McDonald's, but I threw that away because that tastes so disgusting to me, um, and that was at the beginning when I was, like, first sick, well, when I was first sick, when I got better, like, probably three months after, we went to McDonald's once, and I was like, oh, I'll just get a sweet tea, like, I normally did. Oh my gosh, those are, like, gross to me, like, I was I felt cr like sick after I was done eating because I didn't drink the whole thing because you know they come in like a giant thing I didn't drink the whole thing because I was like this tastes really fake and really sweet I can't eat sweet things the only things I love to eat and I'm having cravings for because I'm on steroids right now the only thing that I've been craving is broccoli carrots like any vegetable you can think of like the only vegetables I don't like is asparagus lima beans and Brussels sprouts, and that's really it. I'm sure there's a few other, but that's really all we eat. Anyway, I don't really like celery anymore, but I was craving it for a while, way back. Um, but then also, that's really it. I just eat a bunch of vegetables. I drink a ton of water. You need eight glasses of water a day. It keeps your skin clear. It really has helped me with my weight loss as well, like keeping the weight off. Just by drinking water because it just flushes out your whole body like so yeah but uh you want to at least work out for 30 minutes a day I would say or just do a little bit of something you don't even have to do it for 30 minutes 10 minutes a day um 
right now I'm doing the 24 day challenge I started it actually yesterday and I can actually feel it working which is so crazy it was within a day what you're supposed to do and I'll I found a picture of it I think my cousin posted it onto her Facebook and I was like oh that sounds really fun so I'm gonna I've been doing it and I'm gonna continue to do it because I really actually like it I mean it's my second day but I still like it I don't care how much pain it brings me when I have to do like the 80 crunches because what you're supposed to do are crunches leg raises and planks um one second planks um, and yesterday it was five crunches, five leg raises, and then ten one second planks. So I've been doing that yesterday. So then today it's eight crunches, eight leg raises, and I think it's sixteen um, leg or sixteen one second planks. So I'm gonna be doing that. But anyway, I have to get dressed into my workout attire, and I hope you guys found this helpful in any way this is just for my progress updates as well I think I'm gonna do them about monthly or every two weeks so uh, you should see these videos coming regularly just because I want to keep it for my records so sorry if they're boring to you um, but yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye guys